Hello angel babies, how are you? So I'm going to be doing another video um, and this is just going to be kind of like a what's coming to you type of video. We really focused on the um, negative energy kind of the last couple of readings. Okay, we have stuff coming out already. I didn't even mean to do that. Um, so this is the Hierophant and the Nine of Wands. So I feel like for some of you, you're really getting ready to let go of some burdens, okay? Um, let go of some things that were really hurting you in the past, okay? And I keep, I did a couple of readings today and Archangel Michael really kept popping out, um, just kind of saying that you're going to be moving forward, okay? So I'm going to take that as a small message right off the bat here. Good, great. I guess I can end the reading here, huh? Okay. okay, we have the Nine of Cups, another Nine, so lots of endings here, and then we have the Five of Cups. So what's happening here is you're really deciding to take care of yourself, okay, and you're pouring out with the Five of Cups, like whatever it is that you don't need, okay, in order for you to prosper. So I feel like you've been carrying, even though the Nine of Cups is essentially like a very happy card, it's like you had too many cups. So instead of having like the Nine of Cups, which is about the self, okay, and not taking on anything else, you know, you're concerned with your own happiness, preserving your own health, you're really, really more so like had like 14 cups, okay, like a nine and a five together. And you're getting rid of the cups that, you know, was not yours. You're getting rid of emotional burdens that, you know, you don't need to take on other people's shit. Really? Um, good God. And we have healing preserves health and cures diseases, prosperity, destruction of the enemy, and deliverance from bondage. So, again, you're really, really freeing yourself, okay? And as this is happening, the energy that you're laying to rest, okay, remember when I said there were, there was a demonic mermaid that wanted to drown you, okay, um, oftentimes fallen angels have a very, very odd sense of humor in the way that they want to <laughs> present themselves, okay, um, but yeah, like, you're leaving behind this, this, this emotional turmoil because it says guide of waters can make storms and rough seas causes men to die in three days of putrid wounds and it's the eight of cups which also symbolizes you emotionally walking away from something so i think that that's pretty amazing um that we have the nine of cups here okay and we have the five of cups here all right and then to you know close out you know you're getting rid of of those cups, okay? You're getting rid of the things that you don't really need. You're walking away emotionally from something that you were, you know, this is 42, 4 plus 2 is 6. You were giving unconditional love to the situation or this person. And um, I'm feeling like it left you in the Five of Cups energy. Now, for the other person, I feel like this person was more so concerned about themselves with the Nine of Cups here, and they were leaving you out with the Five of Cups, all right? So you're emotionally walking away, all right, if this is a person for you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some of my message cards. I'm gonna grab kind of like the middle instead. And go from here. So, okay, we have tomorrow. So some of you are gonna be getting news tomorrow all right or hearing about something tomorrow um for some of you you might feel a little bit left out when you get this news but honestly this is really just going to show you yeah problematic okay um this is just really going to show you who you are supposed to leave behind we also have spell work here and we have shadows so we have somebody in the shadows okay doing spell work and um that person is going to feel like it is problematic honestly I really feel like it's nothing to worry about all right I feel like um it may not be something that you would want to hear but it's not let's see what we have here because I feel like more than enough popped out 
I may not take all of these, but you know. Yeah, we have turning point here as well. It says, I know you can do better than me. All right, it says, I don't want a settled score, just my freedom. Okay, um, and we also have, I thought you really loved me, but I guess not since you act like you don't care. So somebody really feels like um, you don't really care about them. Somebody feels like you're kind of just, I think because you have done this, because you have really taken the time to like leave this situation or person behind emotionally they feel like you don't care about them anymore but sometimes that's what happens when somebody gets you know um when somebody has a codependency issue and you're addicted to people pleasing and when you decide to stop people pleasing and really just take care of yourself okay and leave other people here out in the cold all right like that's what happens people will start calling you um selfish okay um this person admits that they have commitment issues it says i can't keep it in my pants. I use sex flirting and sex and flirting to distance myself. So this person probably feels very, very avoidant to the point where they will self-sabotage a relationship um, just because they don't want to leave themselves vulnerable. They always want to have somebody there to kind of fill up that space just in case, you know, things don't really work out. All right. And we have monitor. So I feel like, um, for some of you, like maybe somebody's monitoring you, somebody's watching you, like somebody's listening to you or has been listening to you. I don't really know. We have safely, safety. So for some of you, you really need to play it safe with this person or this person was like playing it safe with you. All right. And we have light bulb flickering. So we have some energetic stuff going on here. A lot of ancestors trying to get through to you. And we have miss misunderstood. So for some of you, you feel very misunderstood. All right. And like like I said, when you pull back your energy from people, sometimes that gives them the impression that you are somehow selfish. But in reality, you've been people pleasing so much that they've got addicted to that energy of you being codependent on them. So when you do pull back your energy, it feels very energetically different for that person. And they can misinterpret that as you being selfish. But in reality, you're just placing boundaries. Okay. It says, he looks better than you. So for some of you, you are exploring your options, okay? Because this person left you out in the cold for the last time, and that is understandable. Or you found out that this person was doing spell work on you in the shadows, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to just look for a different person because you didn't even have to do all of that to make sure that I stuck around. You could have just put in more effort, more work. It says, I want more from you. Bleed. Yeah, I feel like this person really left you bleeding, okay? Especially with the Five of Cups here where it shows, you know, a cup spilled and it looks like there was bloodshed, all right? This person literally, like, watched you bleed. So I feel like for you, you want more from this person. Like, you want to see more. For some of you, you may want to see them bleed, okay, for the things that they've done to you. Um, we have loss of money. So for some of you... Um, you may be experiencing this, but I feel like this is really this person that's experiencing this, this loss of money, okay? They're going to have a loss in finances. It says, I only like people with solid foundation. So for some of you, this person is a gold digger, okay? And the money has ran out, okay, wherever they're at. I feel like you're not with this person anymore since you got the Eight of Cups and you've walked away. But wherever they're at, the money is not there anymore, okay? And they're walking away from this person because it's no longer lucrative for them. They're an opportunist, all right? So this person could be... Um, Topless vehicle, rainy day, gray clouds, brain fog, sex. Like I said, this person has sex with other people because they have commitment issues. So for some of you, um, one day, I feel like for some of you, like this happened, like maybe while this person was at work, like maybe they told you they were at work, but they weren't. Um, for others of you, I feel like this was just like on a random day. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know, but... For some of you, your person did cheat on you in the car, okay, on a day that it was raining, okay, or they cheated on you and it was a very rainy day for you and they just like, you know, it, it caused like a storm, okay, it caused a storm, literally. Um, for others of you, I feel like this person is experiencing brain fog because you walked away. They're having a rainy day because you walked away. Maybe they're trying to use sex to cover it up. Okay, they're trying to, um, you know, kind of get their rocks off to cover up their emotions. All right, and we have coarse manners, rude. I have a rude hoe, 
not an ex and um, pants pay. So I feel like this person may even be, you know, hiring sex workers, okay, to get rid of their stress, all right, to really honestly get rid of their stress and to, um, for some of you, this person contracted a sexual transmitted disease from sleeping with prostitutes. I kept getting that, like, maybe somebody had COVID. So, um, for some of you, I feel like the person who caught COVID and this person who has a sexually transmitted disease are two different people, okay? Um, so I feel like maybe, maybe they got this from the karmic. I have no idea. And then we have light, okay? And we have solar plexus energy. So I feel like you're really focusing on your, um, your confidence and you're really focusing, like, on your money, okay? Like, your morals and your money, because you're walking away from people and the focus that you were putting on this person or this situation, this relationship, you are now taking that and you're focusing it on yourself and your finances. So um, for some of you, I feel like maybe you were even supporting this person or helping this person out financially, like you were their stability. And now that you're experiencing rough times or something like that, like this person is gone because it's like no longer lucrative or like the money that they were that you were giving them okay they were spending it on prostitutes all right the money that you were giving them they were spending it on prostitutes i also got that this person also had like a drug addiction a really bad drug addiction all right so that's also where your money also could have went um but like i said tomorrow i feel like there's going to be some sort of there's going to be some sort of clarity on that tomorrow, okay, on exactly where your money was going. And it says, I hide behind a mask because I'm afraid of showing the real me. All right, I feel like that's pretty obvious. Um, oh my God, and then what was under that was head, okay? So maybe this person is paying for oral sex for from sex, sex workers, okay? Let's pull some cards here and then we're going to end the reading. Yeah, this person is worried, okay? Um, this could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius person, or that's somewhere in their main three, or it could be a Virgo with a Magician here. It could also be Page of Cups, and then we have Aquarius Energy here, and we have somebody that's not really wanting to move on at this point in time, okay? They're not really wanting to come forward with this information, okay? Because swords are all about mental energy. It's all about truth, okay? So I feel like this was the truth that you didn't have. Like, you probably just had your, you know, Ace of Swords truth in your hand, just the one sword, and this person had six other swords, okay? So there was deception between you two, because six plus one is seven, I feel as though for some of you, somebody felt like, for some of you, the situation was giving you such anxiety that now you've cut it off. Like I'm seeing you, Angel Baby, as the King of Swords here. You're the magician because right now, like I said, you're taking that focus that you were putting on this person or this relationship or situation and you're putting it on yourself and your manifestation energy. And what you're able to do is you're able to create a space for yourself okay with the star here i also feel like some of you may be pregnant okay maybe you will be having um maybe you'll find out you're pregnant in aquarius season all right for some of you um but others of you i feel like you are being gifted like a heavy anointing like a heavy protection over you and possibly children okay um I do feel that this person really does see your glow up because you go from being anxious and crazy and not being able to sleep to being, you know, the strong king of swords who's able to think clearly and logically and, you know, kind of put their emotions aside and get their emotions in check. You're able to like manifest and come out of that king of swords energy, knowing exactly what it is that you want to create and you have creativity here with the Page of Cups, and after that, you've ascended to the star. So you really have gone through some type of ascension here by simply just walking away from this energy. And the last thing we're going to say, yeah, nurturing yourself. That's come up twice, okay, um, in the past few readings. Oh, gosh. And we have Blessing beyond the soul path honor all life exchange with of joy without karma or sacrifice yeah you've got good karma coming to you okay in the form of blessings you really really do because that's why you have the star here because you're anointed we also have immersion celebrate sensuality joy 
right to enjoy truly living okay you're blossoming into a beautiful butterfly all right angel baby you also have arcturian energy pure white light dna healing sacred geometry so you have healed like i said to the point where you are anointed okay you're connected with your ancestors you don't just have earthly ancestors you also have galactic ancestors okay if you think that we're the only ones here that exist in every single galaxy that there is you're sadly mistaken we also have Rainbow Child, Unstoppable, New Earth Builder, Multifaceted, Miraculous, Alchemy. You've achieved some type of alchemy of self within yourself, within your mind, okay? And that's creating a whole new world for you. Then we also have Divine Cosmic Mother Womb. You are loved. You are safe. Rest now. Sleep well. So for some of you... um. For some of you, like I said, some of these mothers getting ready to pass, okay, I don't want to say that, but that's really what I'm feeling here. Um, for others of you, you may find out that you are pregnant, but for some of you, you've really connected to that divine cosmic female energy, and it's a soothing, loving, very peaceful energy, okay? That's what you've been able to achieve here when it says the alchemy, but for some of you, you are having a rainbow child. You're going to be expecting another child, all right? Um, if you just lost a child, you should be in expectance of another child, all right? Um, especially with nurture here. We also have, oh, I didn't even see that, divine masculine, all right, um, rise of true gentle power and true strength. So like I said, your divine masculine is really um, getting ready to, or actually he just really recognized who you are, recognizes who you are, okay? It's the emergence, all right? It's the ability to transform before his eyes or before her eyes, um, and it's a blessing, okay? They really do see it as a blessing, and now they're really kind of thinking about all the things that they've done. Okay, that didn't contribute to, yeah, the ether and the matter of the relationship or situation. So that's what I have for you today, Angel Babies, or tonight, rather. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do another video after this because I do have to go to work very early in the morning. So I'm probably going to rest. But if you need me for a personal reading, please feel free to call my business phone okay or to email me i have all that information in my description box and as always i will see you next time